guys welcome back to my channel i am out and about today me and reggie are out and about today we're getting ready to go and um he wants some oxtails so i guess we're gonna get out and find him some oxtails i haven't tapped in in a minute it's been like a week or so and that's because work has been going well everything's pretty much been going well i don't have any complaints um kids are doing good school is going well for Brittany and for Haley. everything is everything is pretty much on the up and up god has been so good and so gracious to us um we're still planning to move and so uh i had to put the apartment hunting or house hunting uh, hold on ice for a minute because I don't know what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it So we're just waiting to tie up some loose ends on some things and then we're gonna start looking again spring is almost here so We'll you know, just play it by ear and see what we're gonna do. I really love The RV life. I really love the RV life. I really don't want to change um, How we're doing things. I don't want to have to move but the reality of the matter is, is just not enough space for all of us. We stuck it out last year and then I'm gonna be working from home. And so, you know, it's just not enough space to be doing all of that. Well, me, me and Reggie are on our own and the girls have, you know, started their, begun their lives and we can revisit the RV life and it'll be nice. But um, right now it's just not the time. And also uh, we did, we went and looked for a new RV but it just didn't work out because I didn't realize that you cannot have two recreational loans at once. And so, although we could afford it to get it because we wanted to get a bigger RV, we were just going to do that. So that's kind of why we put the apartment honey or house honey on hold for a minute. Cause we was like, well, maybe we could just get a bigger RV and only to find out that we would have had to sell the one that we have now. And then in order to buy another one, because the loan, the bank won't allow two recreational loans. So even if we wanted to get our boat, so even if we wanted to get our boat or a second RV, we wouldn't be able to do either right now. So we're it's still up in the air. We just don't know what we're gonna do. And that's fine, it's, it's cool. Work is going well. I'm really enjoying the job that I'm at right now. It's still early, so we'll see. A lot of people that um, were hired uh, in the same time frame that I was are leaving. <laughs> So, but a lot of people are staying too. So, I mean, you have people that have longevity, but in Phoenix, people come and go so often. It's ridiculous. Like, um, at this point, I'm rambling. Um, we're gonna go, he wants some oxtail, so we're gonna try to find that. I want fish. And so, hopefully, we're, um, it's a place called Miss Stacy's Off the Hook or something like that. I'll put it in, enter it in the video when we get there, but we're going to go there and try it out see what it tastes like and see what it twerk like and uh if we like it <laughs> and um yeah y'all see my face i've been trying to learn how to do my own makeup i think it's okay i don't have Brittany here no more to do it i helped, told her to help me learn before she go to school and so i've been practicing on my own so it's getting better i like it I like it. It's age appropriate. I don't have all the things. I don't have all the uh, too much extra makeup. I'm getting better. So I must say that. Another thing is too, I do my own nails now. I just did them. So I got to wait for them to get better. But it's like a gel X thing. But hey, I don't have to pay nobody 60 to $80 to do my nails. And they look pretty good. All right. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to um, tap back in with you guys when we go in to Miss Stacy's and see how the food is i'll get, let you guys know welcome back to the next day in my channel i don't even know what day it is this vlog been going on for weeks at this point but i am so happy and so excited so i had to tap in we gotta prove for our place and so we are moving oh my place is so cute i'm so excited i can't wait to move the rv has been fun but it's time to get back to reality so we are moving at the end of this month and i'm so excited i'll do an empty apartment tour i'm gonna take my time and furnish it um so so excited about that i just got the approval letter today and so yeah we're going back into the crib 
Yeah, it's been fun in the RV. It's really been fun in the RV, but has had its ups and downs. I love the lifestyle of RVing. I really do. Even stationary RVing. I love the community and just the carefreeness of it. I love not having so much of an overhead. Like it's like you have your RV, that's what you pay, that's what it is, you know? And I just love the like the people and the community. But it's smaller than we expected it to be going in after we made that decision to move. So we're going back in the house, in his house, and I'm super, super excited. So um, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up with this. And the next time you see me, I will be hopefully doing a empty place review. Bye now. Ooh, hey y'all. So we in the middle of parking the RV now at the parking spot. And then we'll head back and get some more um, stuff done. Um, kind of pick up just our beds and stuff like that. We need to do a target run, of course, to get all the things you need to be in a house. And uh, laundry, soap, towels, stuff like that. And so so excited things are going well and we'll touch back in a minute guys here's my empty apartment tour it is a three bedroom two bath apartment home stainless steel appliances granite countertops <laughs> I am back, I am back, I am back. Let's just say how happy I am. Guess who finna be home in less than an hour? Me. <laughs> Usually take me an hour and a half to get home. She will be home in not 15 minutes. I got off of work at 4 o'clock. It's 4.18 and I'm getting off on my exit. <laughs> I used to get off at 4 o'clock and not get home. I'll be pulling up in the driveway at 6 o'clock. Tell me I ain't happy. Tell me I'm not the happiest camper that don't camp right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that RV a break for a minute. A minute, I'll tell you. RV is on pause. I do love my RV though, but that's like on pause. I done seen enough of it. I don't care if I don't see it again for at least 30 days, like maybe 60 to 90. I'm getting ready to be uh, off work in what I don't like is, is I'm trying to find a new alternate route home. So last time I was trying to figure it out, see how, before I moved in past the new house to see how long it was gonna take me to get home. And I took the streets and it was real quick. But I, I did get caught up at a little, in a little section, but now I'm getting merging traffic. Okay, it ain't too bad. It's picking up a little bit. But this exit, I'm just one exit over. But it's it's a slow road, so I just think it's just in the nature of this this time of day and this uh this little period that I'm in, this little transition I'm in. But it ain't six o'clock. <laughs> I should still be home by four thirty. I'm so happy. So I just wanted to pop in and say that happy Friday. It is Friday. I'm so happy that it's Friday. I love Fridays. Friday every Friday feel like my birthday. I just be so happy because I could just be off work and be off work. <laughs> yeah. A sister about to get off the freeway. I'm about to go home, walk my dogs, and play with them and watch YouTube. I don't got nothing else planned. The kid is. Uh, at an event late tonight so it's just gonna be me and my couch and a little YouTube and I'm okay with that so uh, we'll catch up with you guys later right now I am 
getting ready to wash my hair. It has grown out significantly. And then I'm gonna try on my new V Park Nadula wig. All right, guys, so this is the unboxing of the Nadula hair that I received or that I purchased. It comes with the V Part wig. In the box, it also has the light skin, a stocking cap, some big old lashes, and a headband. This is the Nadula No Gel No Glue V Part Wig, 22 inches. All right, so this is what the wig looks like. The curls are, ooh, I hate that knit. The curls are beautiful. It's curlier than I thought it would be, but I'm thinking it's gonna die down a little bit. Matches my hair pretty good. After I wash it, of course. But the color is just a natural color, so let's see what it looks like. All right, guys, so it also has the two, the closure right here is the V part. It has these two things to secure it. And then the inside has three clips, no, two, four clips, and three combs and an elastic band for the back. y'all I'm all braided up I got my little wisdom up here with all my little grays I'm not dying them I can't I can't wait to go all the way gray so I don't dye mine um but here we are at least not yet I used to all the time jet black but I'm not dying them right now and this is where we're gonna start I got my edges out because I think the uh curly curl pattern matches mine so we're, we're gonna see about that but so we got, let's see how the hair looks. All right, so we're gonna start with some defining cream tresemme, and then we got the lot of body, of course. And then we're gonna do a little snip snip. All right, so let's do it. We got our brush for defining the curls. Just give it a little bit of shape. Let's see what we can do. All right, y'all, so this is what we got so far. I did a little bit of snip snip just to give it a little bit of face forming um up in here up in here and i'm loving it so far i have no complaints this side could get a little bit more cut it's really cute so now i just need to um uh, i'm gonna take this from the back and kind of even it out just a little bit. Don't cut too much, but and cut just so that it's straight. I like a little blunt cut at the bottom. Now we just need to wet it up a little bit and see what it do. I like how it's blending with my hair. This is on um, my hair right here. I just had a little bit, as you can see, a little bit of leave out, and you can't see any of the. This side is not as good. I used a little bit of uh, Eco Styler Gel as well as this mousse. And I don't think I just didn't clump good enough over here. And I think actually it's the mousse, it's not the gel. The gel do, does this thing. Y'all know the Eco do the Eco thing. So, so yeah, see, much better for that. So we'll put some of this in the actual wedding hair. Let's get the ends together. And I'm gonna air dry. I'm not even gonna go under this blow dryer because I don't have a diffuser. I can't find it. Cause I just moved, like I said, and it's still packed away. So diffusing is not what we gonna do today. But look at the difference between these curls and these curls. You know, <laughs> and we don't even got no makeup. And it's still giving. Kind of 
kind of loving this. Now, that's one thing about this. I don't know if it's because I cut it, but is it, it is shedding a little bit. But I think it's probably just because I cut it. I'm okay with that. It's really cute. All right. Well, this is us. This is us on today. This is the 22-inch Nadula. Kinky Curly. Which I'm loving. I'm going to put some makeup on, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so this is my final look. I ain't going to wear it, but it's showless, cute. And so I'm loving this Nadula wig, Kinky Curly. It is amazing. And I really love it. The hair is so soft. Oh, my goodness, it's so soft. I wish I had somebody to cut the back, but I don't want to cut it yet, so. So, guys, I thought I would do, Reggie just brought me home a new Keurig, so I thought I'd do an unboxing. This is the Keurig Hate Ice Plus. So let's open up, come with this, of course. I was gonna start opening it. Well, I did start opening it, but I wanted to do a little unboxing on it because I told them I want to do like gray, black, and white in here just because of the granite and just because I'm tired of doing, I always do like boho thing. I wanted the sleek one too. I don't want a big period. Oh, nice. So of course you can select your coffee size or your cup size. It has a little button here in case you want it to be iced. It tells you when to add water, eight ounce, 10 ounce, and 12 ounce cups. And just gives you instructions for um, if you want it hot or cold or hot or iced. So it has this nice sleek back water panel to hold your water. The one we had before this was huge. It was a big, massive. We got it from my mom as a gift, but now this one is so nice. Opens up, got the K-cup option right here to put the cups in. And that's our new Keurig. I think I'm gonna set it up over here. I'm looking uh, forward to making my first cup of coffee. We'll see what it's work like. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video with a friend, a friend's friend. Um, yeah, 